Stacey Rahman, and I'm excited to share with you that we've partnered up with Digicel Guyana to bring you an all new series just for the holidays. It's called, You Know It's a Guyanese Christmas When? And in this first episode, we're going to be making black cake because you know it's a Guyanese Christmas when there's black cake on the table. So here to show us all about how to make black cake, I want to introduce my friend, Chef Tefon Telford. Hello, Stacy. Hi, Tefon. How are you doing? I am it's great. a pleasure to be I here today. Yes, welcome. Yes, I'm so you. excited to have you. Your black cake has been the talk of the tongue. Indeed. <laughs> but before we even get yes. into the black cake, um, tell our viewers a bit about yourself and your business. My business. Okay. Hi, hello, viewers. I'm Tefon Telford. Um, I'm a young entrepreneur. My business name of my business tells gourmet kitchen and um, the name tells gourmet kitchen comes from uh, being anything coming from tells gourmet kitchen would remind you of grandma's kitchen right um, grandma's recipe the taste satisfaction the quality the comfort the comfort <laughs> from grandma's kitchen yeah. so that is where the name tells gourmet kitchen came from so yes. you, you mentioned your grandma, is she the inspiration behind this recipe? Did you get it from her? Yes, she <laughs> is. Growing up with grandma, you know, being a caterer as well and uh, someone that bakes and whatever, she was very good with black cakes and she was well known where we grew up and around the village and whatever when it comes to black cakes. So this recipe that I am using and still using came from grandma's from kitchen. Her. Um, her recipe has 20 different ingredients <laughs> for black cake. <laughs> wow. Yes, 20 different ingredients. Um, you do not, for persons that are making it, you do not have to put all the 20 different ingredients, but this is just grandma's recipe. Wow. This is what I've been running with and using for over the past years. Awesome. For making and I know a lot of us have those memories of you know being at grandma's uh, yes. feet while she's cooking and yes. baking and those memories are really yes. sweet memories so I am excited I'm excited too so can you um, first things first what are some of the main ingredients yes. the, that you use in this black okay, cake the main cake. ingredients in the black cake it's the what makes it stands out most is the fruits which would be the the grind fruits, the mixture, and the rum. Right. That is what makes it stand out the most. Those are the, that, that's the main ingredients For, in, in the a black Guyanese cake. black cake. Guyanese black cake. And um, speaking yes. of the fruits, can you tell us maybe a little bit more of what you've used here, the mixture, the fruit mixture? The mixture of the fruits would be the five finger, the carambola, the stewed five finger. It has um, cherry, red and green cherries, raisins, nuts, currants, and prunes inside. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to put the nuts because some people are allergic right. to nuts, so you can omit the nuts and, and mm -hmm. use it. So yeah, that's the way. And what I try, what I tend to do, the 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 rum that we know that I normally soak the fruits with, it's a little stronger than the one that we would wet the cake with when it's finished. Wow. Yeah, so that is what gives the black cake a longer shelf life and. So and that is what yeah. And a little extra kick. A little extra kick. I actually had a taste of this fruit yes. before you started. <laughs> taste of it and yes. it tastes like Christmas. And that is just the fruits by itself. <laughs> fruits by itself. All the other ingredients are not there as yet. <laughs> Lovely. Yes. So guys, let's get baking. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So firstly, the portion we're doing today it's one pound of black cake. Mm -hmm. So of course we're gonna add these ingredients was measured already. Yeah. So we have one pound of margarine. Add that in. So if one pound would give you approximately how many pounds of Two cake? Two to three pounds of cake, based on the size. Based on the and size. we have one pound of uh, brown sugar. So we're going to add this first. Thank you. And we're going to put this on the mixer. And this is going to go on medium speed. And it's going to be creamy. And then after this, we're going to go to the other steps of adding the eggs and the other ingredients. Okay, so how long would this have to... Before the eggs are ready to go in, this can go, I would give it uh, 15 minutes mm -hmm. or less, based on the speed of the mixer. Okay. But it's better to, you know, give it its time, allow the sugar crystals to 
dissolve. It wouldn't dissolve fully, but as you add the eggs, it would help it to dissolve That's completely. That's a great tip because yeah. I think this is one of the things where I fall sometimes. Yes. I'm not sure how long as to, when. Yeah. to mix the first part. You yes. know, the yes. to pre when you're creaming the bottom, you should how yes. long do I do that for? Yeah. So 50 minutes, that's a 50 great 50 minutes tip. would be great and after that, it wouldn't dissolve fully, but after you start adding the eggs, it would eventually, the wet, in, well, the first part of the wet ingredient, it would help the, um, the sugar, the, the sugar to, yeah, to, to dissolve, because you don't want it to curdle. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> Alright, Stacy. so it has been 15 minutes, and this is ready for the first batch of eggs before a set of our wet ingredients. It looks like marshmallow. Yes. <laughs> Very creamy. Very creamy. Thank you. And um, let me just, yes, I can See? tell exactly yes. what you said. Yes. The sugar granules have started to melt. started to dissolve. So as we add the, the eggs, mm -hmm. it is going to uh, eventually dissolve as we go ahead. All right, so I'm going to add the first three eggs and then we're going to go. So you add them like three at a time? Yeah, three at a time because okay. I'm using 12 eggs. 12 I eggs. normally, well, the standard recipe that I know, it's 12 eggs mm -hmm. per pound of blackie. All right, so we're going to go on and we're going to get cream in. And the eggs, you can go five, four minutes at a time after you add the first set. Okay, yeah, great. So um, this basically makes it creamier when you yes, add the eggs. Yes. What else does th that do? It egg. makes it creamier, it fluffes it up more, uh -huh. a lot of more air gets into the mixture. Okay, so your, your cake is lighter. Yes, and the end results, it's very, it's, it literally dissolves on your mouth, on your tongue. So, yeah, so we're going to get going, right? No? All right. All right, Stacy. So, all the eggs are in and the essence and... This, the texture is perfect. It's just how we wanted it. Guys, it's so <laughs> creamy and silky. And let me tell you what I think you right now. I just want to lick this bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing I used to do. As a child, right? It yes, so indeed, good. indeed, indeed. And it smells so good with the essence and the fruits. I can smell all the aromas of Christmas right here. I wish you guys could smell it too. Yes, indeed. All right, so we're going to start adding the fruits. Um, one step at a time. Perfect. So we just get this in. So how much fruits are you using again, just to remind us? Three pounds of the mixed grind fruits. Uh -huh. When I say mix, I mean when all the other, the cherries, the currants, the prunes, the raisins, and everything are in already. Then you measure it out. Of course, when you buy, so friend, when you buy, if you buy three pounds of the fruits, the carambola, the pre soap, the pre -soap fruits, yeah. and then you buy a pound of cherry and a pound, eventually it goes up because so, everything is a pound. Of course. But then when you combine all, then you measure a pound out of that oh, for the black tea. I see, I understand. Yeah. Some of everything must be inside. And you want, you mentioned to me earlier the consistency of the yes. fruit. You want everything to be yes. uniform everything and to the really uniform. finely ground yes. as well. You don't want to be chewing or, or right, anything else. Right, chunky. Stuff. So even right. if you're adding peanuts, you want to grind that up as well. And, and it's advised you get a better flavor to roast your peanuts. Ah, yes. all those oils. All those oils. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Stacy. So we're almost through. And as the Guyanese would say, the black cake is coming to come. It's coming to come. It's coming to come. <laughs> <laughs> Alright? Yes. So in here we have the eggs, the sugar, the fruits, the essences. Now this is another tip and trick in black cake. When adding the caramel, the caramel, the amount of caramel you add, determining on the color and also the taste of the black cake. Uh -huh. uh, too much caramel tends to get the black cake extremely dark and bitter. Mm -hmm. Some people like black cake bitter, some yeah. people don't. Yeah. But like I said, well, this part for the caramel, I would normally average it by eye. Yeah. Right? So, 
Um, for those of you who may not know what caramel is, when I was growing up, we actually used to call it burnt sugar. Yes. And it's really made with, you know, when you... Yes. The sugar on low heat. The, the caramel is made with alcohol. Mm -hmm. And the regular burnt sugar, sugar that we would use for pepper pot before we knew about cashew and all of that, that doesn't have alcohol inside. So this caramel, the way that grandma taught me to do it, is with the spices and the alcohol at the end of right. it. Right, the brown yeah. sugar, the, the spices, brown sugar the and alcohol. the alcohol. Okay, yeah. great. All and right. Of course, you can get um, your cake coloring in all the stores now. Yes, so we're going to add. And as I go, I, just, I will keep stirring. Average wise you go. Mm -hmm. So you add and stop. I try to go in one direction. direction. Yeah. I can see the color the color already starting yeah, to come through. Already and started the to smell come. The and smell, everything yes. Is, yes, it's smelling like black cake. Exactly. <laughs> We were we actually asked a question on our page. What's your favorite memory of Christmas growing up? And a lot of you guys responded with the smell of black cake baking in the oven. And you're having that experience today. I'm having today. that experience today. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah. So I yes. hope you guys try this recipe. Um, I know it's near and dear to your heart. Yes. To fawn. Mm -hmm. So definitely, we're honored to have you here sharing it with us it's in honor pleasure. of Grandma. Yes. And Christmas, was, it, it is the best time of the year. We looked forward as kids. Yeah, yeah. Christmas that's time. True. We didn't have a lot growing mm -hmm. up, but we always yes. had black cake. And we always <laughs> had certain things. Always, you know, what what you didn't get during the year, Christmas time, you could look forward. Forward to, yeah. yes. So when yes. you're having your black cake, what do you like to have it with? Like beverage? Is there any particular thing? Mauve? There's a big debate going on. Is black cake and mauve, black cake and sorrel, black cake and ginger, ginger beer. beer. Ginger beer. Got it. Yes, <laughs> ginger beer. Ginger beer goes better. So you see the color yes, is changing. the color is changing. Also the consistency of the mixture. So Beautiful. this is going to be fine. So it gets darker when it's baking. Yes, when it's finished baking, it gets really, really dark. So you don't want to see, you don't want the mixture looking yeah, like, like the that. caramel. Yeah. yeah, that's a great, yeah. great piece of advice there. As it finished baking, um, it gets dark. You getting the smell? Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> so, um, again, how, how many cups of this you would use? The caramel? Yeah. Based on your preference. Based however, that, for your recipe, yes. how much? For you my recipe, use? I would use two cups of caramel. Two cups. Yes. Great. So, for Grandma's recipe, again, it's two cups of caramel. Yes. So, you see? Oh, God. Yes, I'm getting the smell. Getting the smell. Alrighty. It's coming through. Now, we're going to put this aside. And we are going to add the dry ingredients. Now to the dry ingredients, I have four cups of flour. I have two teaspoons of nutmeg. I have two teaspoons of allspice. Like I said, the recipe, you don't have to add allspice. You don't have to add nutmeg, but we're, I'm sticking to the Your original recipe. recipe. Yes. And he grated this nutmeg fresh. fresh. Fresh, fresh not fresh. Made. and we also have two teaspoon of cinnamon powder and two teaspoon of baking powder some people don't add baking powder Stacy uh -huh. but we stick into your recipe yes, yes. Yeah. so the moral of the story here is you guys you know you can basically add or take away ingredients or use essences to your preference your choice of flour you know do it your way indeed because it's Christmas it's and you Christmas. try to do things. You are ready. I'm going to put this here. Bring this back and we're going to go a little bit at a time. So you're folding the I'm flour. Folding the flour. Is there any technique? you know you use when you're folding well, when the, you're adding the flour yeah i i try to go in one direction slowly um you know even when i'm doing bigger batches of the cake um i do it in the machine 
the mixer up yeah. to a point and then I take it out and I prefer to use my hands, you know, yeah. to fold and turn, you know, at a time. Oh gosh, I yeah. remember growing up, this was a chore. Oh yes. This was a chore, yeah. So the first set it in, then I do a little bit more. Let me get a stir, man. Yes, go ahead. Let me get a stir. That's right. <laughs> Go right ahead. Alright. Yes. Around and Around. turn. Around. Uh huh. Yes. I think you can hire me as your assistant. <laughs> That's not a problem. <laughs> Alright. Uh, all right. Yes, I can. I can. It's it's a fluffy cake, guys. Mm -hmm. It's it's very light. I can feel it. You know, even stirring, I can tell the mixture is mm -hmm. so rich, mm, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You can take your spatula, the rubber spatula, and clean the edges. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me take over. Yes. All right. Got it. Just Let the pro work. As when I was in school, the teacher used to say, "Keep your edges clean." <laughs> <laughs> so that's talk with you yeah it's here it's, and i'm it's, sure grandma in her kitchen too oh right Lord. she had all her little yes. kitchen tools and all of that and you know yes so yeah, you see the mix is coming beautiful together. beautiful so we're gonna go in with the last set of flour mm -hmm. so you know what you see i love what i love about black cake it's therapeutic you know, you don't rush anything, you take mm -hmm. your time, take your you time. measure, you give it love. There's you gotta a, love of this cake. There's no rush. No rush. Beautiful, beautiful. You make it seem so effortless. Like when I was doing it, yeah, no, seriously, it's not as easy <laughs> to fall in as... Well, you see, the, the spoon is wrong. So if you look right. at my hands and I'm going wrong and my fingers, oh, I'm turning. Turning, yes. yeah, turning yes, and I'm folding at the same time. Yeah. After doing it so long, you get Second it. Second nature. <laughs> so how many of these you bake, you know, when it's Christmas season? How many of these do you bake? During the Christmas season, um, last year we sell over 300 pounds of black. Oh, my God. Goodness. And counting, yeah, we we had to, or um, the fruits was out, everything was out, so we we had to close orders before time, and reset and come again for the and new. And this year, I saw you put out since like October. Since October, cakes you was out. To yeah, order. persons have already <laughs> foreigners that are in Guyana and returning home. For Christmas, they already started to take back theirs. And you're shipping too? And I'm shipping cakes too through DSL Express Service. Um, to wherever DSL goes, we're shipping cake to you. Um, based on your zip code, that would be the, right. the fee. The zip code and the weight, that would be the fee um, for shipping. All right, the flour is in. One more ingredient has to go in to this mixture. So this is the, as we would say, the bar for the girl. <laughs> this is the spice rum. A lot of people don't know about the spice rum, but this is the spice rum. Um, some people have other rum, rum that they use preferences, yeah. but I prefer to use the spice rum. Now the amount of rum that you can add in, that is up to you, <laughs> your preference. Because at the end of it, when the cake is finished baking, you still have to pour the rum on, on, top. on top, yeah. right? So we'll add the rum. But for video sake, so how much rum are you gonna I will add there? two cups. Two cups yeah. of spice rum. Beautiful. Mm. You're giving away all your secrets. <laughs> That's alright, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to fold again. Yeah. This time, you know, it might be a little longer, but go wrong. Same and you technique come again, right? Yeah. Yes. All right, Stacy. So the rum is almost in. Go ahead, have a feel. Yes, of it. let me have a feel. Indeed. Yes. 
still very light and eerie. Yes, what it's, about the smell? You're getting the smell I'm yet? getting the spices, mm -hmm. I'm getting the rum, I'm getting the fruits, everything. It smells like grandma's kitchen in mm -hmm. here. It smells Indeed. like Christmas, a Guyanese Christmas. Must have. It smells like, <laughs> it smell like a Guyanese. You know it's a Guyanese Christmas when you get this smell. Exactly. Beautiful. Alrighty. So how, you know, tell me a bit about how you came up with the idea of doing this as a, you know, to make a living. Well, Stacey, um, two years ago when the COVID came, when the COVID actually got to Guyana, um, I was given an opportunity to, a job opportunity in the British Virgin Islands. And after I got there, uh, the world started to shut down. Mm -hmm. So I was just there for four months away from my family and um, didn't got the opportunity to work one day oh while I was there. Um, I thank God for the person that took me there for work, to work. She took good care of me and so on. And then four months after, I left and I came back. But while I was there, you know, you're lying in a house doing nothing, just being on the phone and thoughts started to come to me. And the name... The name just came very clear. Yeah. Tell's Gourmet, Gourmet Kitchen. Kitchen. And when you think about Tell's Gourmet Kitchen, you think, like I said, you think about grandma's, you think about grandma's food, grandma's kitchen, grandma's recipe. And there is where the name came from. I love it. And yeah. obviously, there was a bigger plan for you. Yes. Right? That BVI, because this is what it brought in. Yes. yes, indeed. Yes. Yeah. So tell me about some of the other stuff that you make. I know you also make a very famous sorrel cake. Mm -hmm. So the sorrel cake as well came from going to the BVI and with COVID. So after permission was given for me to travel to get mm -hmm. back home, we had to go around. So we went to Puerto Rico to New York, then to get the repatriation flight to come home to Guyana. And I was on the road a day in the US and I went to a Jamaican restaurant. And I went in, you know, buy food or whatever. And then when I was ready to leave, I saw the red looking cake and I asked the, the cashier, I said, what is that? She said, it's sorrel cake. And me remembering that we have sorrel in Guyana in abundance Christmas time, sometimes year round. Yeah. I bought a piece and I tried and when I tasted it, my taste buds went. Yes. And I said, you know what? I think I can do this and offer this to Guyanese. And last year we sold again over 300 pounds oh of sorrel my cake. God. And this year is gonna be even better because it's such a beautiful cake. Yes, yeah. yes. The, the 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 color, the texture, the taste, everything. It's something that you need to try. Yes. Sorrel cake for Christmas. I love it. It even looks Christmassy. It does. It's a beautiful <laughs> it red color. So yes. you guys, sorrel cake. Very eye catching as well. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. And and what other, um, I know you do catering and so forth. Yes, we well, do right? caterings for weddings, parties, any occasion. We're very big and <laughs> known for our white pudding. The white pudding, if you haven't tried the white pudding from Tell's Gourmet Kitchen. Well, Stacey, I know you have, so you yes, can testify. Can. <laughs> it's so good. Yes, indeed. The white pudding is something you need. We normally offer a Saturday lunch box. It, it started as a snack box. We just white putting the egg ball and whatever. Yeah, I've but then, that. Yeah, we add the meals. Now we have other food besides that. So it's a lunch box now. So every Saturday, you can... The Facebook page is there. Tells Gourmet Kitchen. You can check it out and give me a call or WhatsApp. And yeah, Definitely. I'll get you hooked up. And I am so happy that you're here yes. and proud of everything that yes. you have accomplished. Thank you so, so much. So let us get this, get this show back on the road. Yes. <laughs> get the cake in the oven. All right, Stacy. So again, another trick. It's all right to have your mixture resting mm -hmm. for at least 15 minutes before you pop it into the oven. So we're using a 7-inch pre-greased pan. Right. And we are going to... Another tip before we pour, you don't, you at least want to go three quarter up because the cake, cake the cake will rise. And even though it will go back down, you don't want spill in the oven. Right, I understand. So, so this makes about three pans. Yes, three pans. Beautiful. The color is lovely. Mm all uh, all my memories of childhood <laughs> just flashing back to me now my mom yes. my grandma 
black cake is really you know it's more than just the cake it, it's yeah. it's family it's tradition yeah. it's have, because oh. have it been a a long method everybody get a chance when we were small one person would cream the butter <laughs> and the sugar <laughs> one person would, 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 would crack the eggs right. another would measure but I am always and I, I have always been foot and foot behind grandma so i would be at the basin yeah mixing so i would know everything was going in and who is right, doing right. what and those things just stick with you, you yes know? indeed i think it's such an important thing and black cake as you correctly said there are so many different um parts to it yes yeah, so many different yes, ingredients so many different ingredients yes, yes and to get the perfect because there is a perfect black cake <laughs> yes to get the perfect black cake um, because of the amount of ingredients there is inside is you really have to know how to balance mm -hmm. those and, ingredients. Yes, those 20 ingredients for the black yeah, cake yeah. Um, the rum there's there's no hole in that one <laughs> you can go as strong as you want as plenty as so you what want encourages you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't, there's no limit for black cake when it comes to rum yeah. so yeah so here you have it um, this goes into the oven now. Um, another advice and another trick, I'm sharing my tricks, my yeah, tips and tricks. tricks, is you want a pan with water to the bottom of the oven. Uh -huh. In school, we would say you don't bake black cake in a dry oven. Really? So you, yeah, you, you, for you, you can tap water, a nice pan to the bottom of the oven, so why is it baking the steam, the steam from the water would keep the cake moist and from burning and so on. Oh, that's so that's another idea. trick. Oh, thank yeah. you for sharing that's that, another but I trick. know a lot of people thank you for yeah, that. Yeah, that's one. another. It's not advice. It's, it's not good. You, you, to me, the texture is not. The outcome of the cake, especially black cake, is not that nice when you bake in a dry mm -hmm. oven. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this goes into the oven now. How many degrees? Um, I would say 250. Mm -hmm. Um, for the first, for the first, this would take, I would say about an hour and 30, no, two hours and 30 minutes. Right. Yes. You so want it's two hours and 30 minutes. Um, how many degrees Fahrenheit again? Just remind me. I would say 250. 250 yeah. degrees. 250 yes. degrees. 250 Fahrenheit. degrees for two and a half hours. Based on your oven, because some of the electric ovens tend to, or or Guyanese term, bake it in a low oven. <laughs> Yeah, because right. no, that's true. Because yeah. even my oven, when the the last time I bought my stove, it baked faster. Yeah. So I had to learn to adjust. Yes, you 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 yeah. you you work with the oven, and another tip is advice that you preheat your oven. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is before you add the dry ingredients, you preheat the oven. Yeah. And how you get the full temperature of the oven, you when you open it, you feel. Yeah. So based on what is coming out of the hot, then you can, you know, adjust it. But mm -hmm. Guyanese term, bake on a low oven. Low oven. Low Got oven. It. Exactly. Great. So we're going to the oven now. And that's it. A lot of wisdom <laughs> here shared today yes. and some really amazing tips. Thank you so much for sharing Grandma's recipe. Yes, pleasure. So let's get this here. into the oven. Yes. It already smells like Christmas in here. And I know when it starts baking. <laughs> It's I'll get my slogan. I'll get my ginger beer ready. <laughs> yes, all right. All right, Stacy. So we are down to the best part. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is finished baking. It's finished cooling. I've already soaked it with the rum, as I said during the process. And now we're going to I'm going to garnish the cake, and you're going to get the opportunity to taste the cake alrighty so, so here we go I know a lot of jealous people watching me right now but <laughs> y'all know it try the recipe at home and be sure to send the results send your photos post it in comments let us see your black cake exactly there you have it beautiful yes. it looks like Christmas indeed and it, it looks, smells like Christmas it too it looks festive and it will taste festive as well there is nothing like the smell of black cake out of the oven yes that reminds you of christmas of yes. home of family you know it's a guy this christmas when you get yeah. the smell and taste of black cake okay. <laughs> so i'll cut for you stacy i'll do it. the piece is not too small <laughs> but it, it, it's a start it's a start <laughs> 
for TV land, we can do it. You know. Awesome. So go ahead. So I am taking a taste for you guys at home watching. We hope you enjoy this. And of course, Digicel Guyana is the reason you guys are able to watch this video right now. This video comes to you with a kind compliment of Digicel Guyana, Visit Guyana, and Digicel Better Together. Yes. So let me take a taste. Mm. This is great. Take your time. <laughs> No, it is great. It is great. Yeah. Let me tell you, I love my black egg when I'm when I'm biting into it. It must be grainy, mm -hmm. right? And I think some people have the misconception that black egg is supposed to be really heavy mm -hmm. and super dense. Mm -hmm. While it is a solid cake, it's not heavy at all. Mm -hmm. It's it's still light. It mm -hmm. still melts on your tongue. Yep. I'm getting all of the fruit flavors. I'm getting the the flavorings of the, the spices, essence, the, the essence, spices, the rum, the rum, yes. of course, <laughs> that's, that's a must. And the spice rum definitely gave it a kick. Definitely, definitely. I can taste it in yes, here. Definitely. Yeah, this is a great, great, great black cake. Yes. I must say, and thank you. thank you and your grandma for being here to share this recipe yes. and your story. Thank you. I am so honored to have you guys yes. again. Thanks so much to the, the Digital family for uh, allowing us to share this video with you and to our wonderful guest, guest Chef Telford. So we're going to put his uh, information as well so you can contact him directly. If you have any questions at all about this recipe, please ask in the comments, DM us. We're happy, happy, happy. I'm sure Chef yes, is happy I'll as well. I'll definitely be happy to share tips and tricks. And tricks with you. Tweaking your black cake. The pleasure was all mine as well. Yes. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Let let me be the let me take this opportunity to say Merry Christmas and a happy new year to all the viewers and Stacy to you as well and your household. Thank you so much yes. and to all our viewers as well. On behalf of Visit Guyana, the Digital Family, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a wonderful new year. You know it's a Guyanese Christmas. When? You got uh, black, black cake, cake. <laughs> on your table. <laughs> so All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.